Hello everyone. In this series video, I would like to demonstrate you how you can solve the same problem using different methods. At the final part one we'll show you another two methods and first one is cluster. We have basic mesh for the belt and FOSS tax. Change to point mode and select points that you want to bind. Go to the character menu and select create cluster. Now points bound to the null. Freeze nulls transform values. Cluster created vertex map that controls by the null, but to control the falloff, you have to dig into the cluster. Change falloff to surface mode and chose your appropriate type. Repeat the same algorithm for each part that you want to bind. Short reminder about how to use cages and how to attach object to the belt. Cluster method give you absolute control to adjust poses and motion, but demands a lot of time for tuning falloffs, impossible to save geometry proportions, and if you use simulation to attach objects to the belt it has issues with priorities. Next and final method is loft. So we have three nulls and two of them with FOSS text geometry. Put loft into scene. Click Shift plus C and find segment spline. Put segment into the connect with zero coordinates, but turn off weld mode. Make spline instances. Put constraint tag in transform mode on each segment and bind it with nulls. Pay attention to sequences, for loft it makes big difference. Check the result. Animate the nulls. We need to restrict start and the end of the belt. Make more instances around start and end, constrain it first and last null, but with offset. Note number 2. If you turn off per segment parameter, loft will be adopting polygons quantity during deformation, so keep it on. If we will turn off the per segment and increase subdivision's value. You will see how polygons quantity adopts during deformation. So keep it per segment on. Another feature in the loft, it always trying to adopt the UV map, and if you're not going to use turn it off. 
As the previous method, loft gives you control to adjust poses and ability to change shape of the geometry. But you cannot export this feature to other softwares. It's hard to save initial geometry proportions, loft geometry subdivisions isn't uniform. In this series of videos, I wanted to show that for the same problem there can be a huge number of solutions and approaches. I hope that these methods will be useful for you. If you liked the video and want to continue, hope to see you again, good luck!